Aho! This is a member of the voice of reason I'm coming out to you. And I'm now officially promoting the book, Whatever Happened to My White Picket Fence by Janet Schlipp. Now, Janet Schlipp was a special ed teacher for many, many years. Now, I can tell you this much. Um, just to give you a little background as to what, what she did. Um, she taught in Dutchess County and Ulster County. She taught in Pine Plains, New York. Then she taught in Ulster Bosons. Now, what she did was she took all the students that nobody wanted, that basically people gave up on, that um, literally the system and society gave them very little, very little, very little chances of actually ever going anywhere. And the downside to that is that, you know, um, mostly students like that, and mostly students like that in underprivileged special ed programs, they either end up in state homes or uh, state group homes or um, or state-run hospital programs for people who cannot care for themselves, or just they end up in prison. All different types, of, all, all different types of places, due to the fact that a lot of people fall through the cracks. Those are the those those were the students that Janet was that she was paired up with. Um, and after many, many years, in her late 40s, she was forced into retirement. Well, her headaches went on for a period of time. And over time, what happened was, is, um, I remember the day I got that call. Um, she said, Brian, I have a brain tumor. And I have to have it operated on. And she insisted on calling me. She insisted on getting me on the phone right before she went into surgery. And I get a phone call from her sister, and she put her on the phone real quickly. And I said, I love you, Janet. And she, I didn't hear hear from her for the rest of the day. Maybe about an hour after she woke up <laughs> with wires and red and everything, even after she got operated on. But she had a tumor the size of an orange behind her eyeball. And it's caused permanent damage to her frontal lobe. But she wrote a book about it called Whatever Happened to My White Picket Fence. It all explains how she recovered from brain injury. Um, she spent four years writing the book. She did a very good job at it. I wrote one chapter in the book. I was her foster son a long, long time ago. I'm still in her life. I'm still, you know, she's still a huge part of my life. Um, and she is, she's one of the people that I look up to. For better or for worse, she is the one person who I'm always trying to impress. I'm always trying to sit there and gain her approval no matter what. She is, the, um, she is a huge inspiration in my life. And um, I'm now here promoting her book. So to all my subscribers and all my viewers, please, please go to Amazon.com and buy the book, Whatever Happened to My White Picket Fence. It is an awesome book. You will love it. It will help anybody with a brain injury. I mean, ranging from brain tumors to strokes to all different types. There's all different various forms of, of brain injuries and handicaps out there. But initially, what, you know, what the book is hoping to do is put that together. So I'll be making more videos on whatever happened to my white picket fence and to give you updates and follow, following updates on, on things that have been going taking place. Um, anyway, this is a member of the voice of reason. Aho.